Hi everybody, it's Kiwi Mikey here again with another Steelbook opening, and this time it's for the HMV exclusive of the Hunger Games. Now um, I've just taken out the wrapping. As it says, it says HMV exclusive three disc Steelbook. Um, some good news with that, really. We've got three discs in total. You've got two Blu-rays, one with a feature film, uh, the other one with the bonus features. So that's a Blu-ray disc, and then also the DVD version of the film as well. Uh, as you can see, we've got this, the Mark and Jay um, logo here which originally I thought looked better to the American one but I think the best steelbook of the bunch would have been one in between the American and the UK one because I think this Mockingjay is a little too small and the one in the American um, steelbook is a bit too big and it kind of isn't framed very well um, but nevertheless it's a nice looking steelbook it's a very very matte finish there's not much shine to it no gloss to it really at all um, it does still look good um, the spine in particular is really nice you see that Hunger Games very nice and clear it's come with a really nice card. I wouldn't call it a J card. I'd probably call it a P card as long as the shape it makes. Um, at the top it says, um, three disc steelbook collector's edition, rated 15. Features the unseen version of the film on Blu-ray. Now, this is why I don't understand about the unseen version section. If I refer to the back, it says that the Blu-ray uh, feature film is approximately 142 minutes, whereas the DVD feature is 137 minutes. But when I compare the video length on IMDb, it does state that is it is one, 1 hour 42 minutes, so I'm not sure exactly what the unseen version refers to. Originally, I figured it was going to be a director's cut and a theatrical version, but it doesn't seem to be that, so I'm not entirely sure what what that means if anyone does let me know um, but yeah like I said really nice card to go with it so it's nice and sturdy like I said it's got all these um, reviews at the back special features uh, they include um, letters from the Rose Garden uh, the making of the Hunger Games controlling the games marketing archive propaganda film and like I said um, well actually it says disc read DVD, the version of the film seen at UK cinemas, disc one, Blu-ray, unseen version of the film. So make of that what you will. Like I said, IMDB says 142, so maybe the UK didn't get the American um, cut from it in the cinema. I'm not sure. But yeah, so this is the front cover. Um, it, I think it's really nice what they've done, actually, with the artwork in total on the front and the back because they've kind of mimicked that. They've kind of combined both um, the American version and um, the, both American versions together. So you've got uh, Mockingjay at the front, and on the back, you haven't got a tagline, you've got this, the District 12 emblem, but it's like, on fire. And it's really, really nice. I actually prefer this um, cover to the front. I think this would have looked even better on the on the front, to be honest. Really nice. It's nice. I like the fact that it has, has been mimicked on both sides. You've got the flames on both. So I'll open that up. I won't show you what's inside yet. we got lovely. I think this is much better colour as well. Can you see the difference between the brightness of this and the colour of that? Make of it what you will. I do like it. I still haven't seen the film, to be honest, but I know a lot about it already. And like I said, again, really nice steel. And, you know, the mat, the mat does grow on you. Um, now, this is the surprise, considering I think this is quite a good addition so far. No inside artwork. Ma major, major fail. Not very good, HMV. Bit disappointing, I have to say. Lovely, um artwork on the discs. It's a shame we've got identical ones here. I do like to have a variation there, but the extra features disc, you have got the, the male character here, which does look good um, when you look at them then. And something else I've just noticed actually, I just realised, 12, 12, 15. The Blu-ray um, feature of the movie is obviously a cut version, which um, re re was a theatrical version for the 12 rating. So they've given you an uncut version to give it the 15 rating then. So that would be the difference. An extra five minutes of scenes which were deemed to be too uh, inappropriate for anyone under the, that age. So you've got 12 version on DVD and a 15 rating on Blu-ray. But yeah, come on, play. Where's the inside artwork? I know I've said before, I don't particularly like artwork if the discs are covering it, but 
to have something that would have been better than nothing, even if it was black or flames all in it, something that had a bit of effect. It's a bit like the feeling you get when you first see Drive Steelbook. The this, this out, out, outside artwork is absolutely stunning, but then you open it and find it disappointingly has no inside artwork. But yeah, like I said, this is uh, quite a nice steel nevertheless. You can always uh, modify the steelbook inside yourself and add some internal artwork, which I probably will do at a later date. Um, but yeah, the, uh, the card, really nice. That's going to keep well. The steelbook itself, nice and sturdy, and it's quite a weight to it because it's got three discs in there as well. But I'm looking forward to watching this. Hopefully I'll get a chance to. Uh, I've been extremely busy at the moment. Work's just started up. I've uh, managed to get a teaching job full time. So um, I'm going to be snowed under with that. But I'm looking forward to um, getting around to watching this film. So like I said in, f in, future, in, the, in the past guys. Keep on watching my videos. I hope you do enjoy them. I try my best to keep them as informative as I can. Um, I'll just flip back to the um, inf other information. Um audio it mentions English language um, for both it doesn't list any other languages on the card but I assume there would be some additional languages I'll post them at due course it's listed as a B region and region 2 for the DVD um, it's DTS HD Master Audio 7.1 um, also Dolby Digital 2.0 the stereo version available um, that's about it yeah from Lionsgate and that's about it then guys so keep subscribing i've got lots more steelbooks coming i'm also hopefully gonna have um the cinderella um best buy steelbook case coming out um so i'll get the video of that done as well because it absolutely looks a beauty uh some in boston as well shame this isn't embossed because ironically enough if you look close enough it's kind of been designed to look um three-dimensional so why didn't they just go ahead and do it but I think that's um, maybe H&V cutting costs. But nevertheless, it's a nice seal. Let me know what you think, guys. And uh, keep watching. All the best. See you soon. Bye.